So we're going to show you one of the ways that we prepare stingrays, maybe two. I might do some ceviche and some grilled stingray, but we're at least going to do some grilled stingray today. Let me show you how we fly them. Do it similar to a flounder. So stingrays don't have bones, they have cartilage in their wings. And you have to be careful when you cut them, because when you cut them, you don't want to cut through the cartilage. But you do want to get down to where the cartilage is, and then fillet it out as you would a flounder. This is all guts here. You don't have to worry about that. And then this is the gills here. So really what you're cutting off is right here that way on the top and the bottom of the fish. You're gonna want a sharp knife. And the meat is different looking. It doesn't look like any other meat you've ever seen before. You wanna cut down to the cartilage, cut through the meat, you can feel the difference with your knife. And then you're just gonna take the skin off the cartilage as you would like a flounder taking it off the backbone uh, when you fillet a flounder. The meat looks very different, but it is delicious. People say it tastes like scallops. I don't think it tastes like scallops at all. I think stingray tastes like stingray. But it is good. Is that a skin? Yeah, that's the skin on the bottom. There's that side. Oh, almost lost my ball. One of these days I'm going to build me a nice play table. Daddy, I think it's still alive. No, it's not still alive, buddy. Really? Because the gills are still losing. Yeah, that's just because you're sitting in some water mm -hmm. and ice. Same deal on this side. You're just going to go back around and get down to where the cartilage is and then just cut it off the cartilage and you don't you want to keep your knife angled a little down because if not you leave a lot of meat on the cartilage which you don't want because they don't have a whole lot of meat on them but if you go too far down you cut through the cartilage is that good or bad if you cut through the cartilage yeah. it's not good you have to go, and it's just an extra step to clean out the meat. You can see right here, there's still a little bit of meat sitting right there, but it's not bad. Alright, flip it over, we're going to do the other side, similar. The smaller ones, generally speaking, we use for bait. They get up this size, um, we're going to eat them. So what do you do with the tail? Just use it as bait? No. Nope. We'll just put a big hook right here. Use the rest of the carcass for bait. Mm -hmm. You gonna catch a big shark one day, buddy? Sure. All right. Same deal. You're gonna want to go around the gut cavity, and you're gonna get up here where the gills are. You can kind of see right here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's got some striations. You can feel them with your finger, but that's where the gills start. If you were to cut up here, you'll see those are gills. That's not meat. So you want to cut down here right off the edge of this line and that's where the meat's going to be at. Same deal, you're going to cut down to the cartilage. Once you get to the cartilage, cut out the, out the fish. So is the thing under that, it's like 
fins, like bone? This is kind of like bone, but it's not hard like a bone. Like it's a fin bone? Yes, it's more like your nose. Mm. Or your ear. Or your ear, right. Same deal, you're just gonna cut out, cut through the skin. Pretty good slab of meat right there. I think like they have more meat on the front or at the top. Oh than yeah, the bottom. a lot more. Well, because they lift their wings up yeah. and they swim. Got it. We're gonna do these similar to doves or shrimp. When you make shrimp kisses or dove kisses is what I call them. I don't know if they're actually called. It's just bacon wrap with jalapeno. Season them up, put them on the grill. You can see right here, left a little meat on there. And I don't know how much of the uh, catching of this fish we have on video because I think one camera was dead and uh, one of them wasn't working properly. So hopefully we got this on video. If not, this might just be a clean and cook, not a catch clean and cook. But we'll see. I'm gonna go throw this guy in my cooler. Be right back and we'll show you how to skin him. All right, we're gonna skin him out. Same deal like skinning out a fish. They've got pretty tough skin. Similar, I'm not gonna say it's tough as a shark, but it is pretty tough. So you're gonna wanna angle your knife down just a little bit and just take the skin, separate the skin and the meat. Too much, you're gonna end up cutting through the skin. You have a lot of skin on your meat, which you don't want. If you're too little, you have a lot of meat on your skin. And this isn't the ideal cutting board, it's kind of crooked. What he's calling it. Alright, so skinning back to skinning a uh, stingray. The skin is real tough, so you can pull on it pretty good. Get it skinned out. That's what it looks like. It's a very funny looking meat, but it is delicious. What I'm gonna do is hopefully I can convince my wife to go to the store for me again. And we're gonna cut off the skinnier pieces down here on the end and chop it up, probably for ceviche, and the thicker pieces we're gonna cut up and use to grill. If not, we'll cut these up and fry them and use them for something later. Um, but generally speaking, you don't want to try to grill the little bit thin pieces out on the end. They'll get tough on you. So we're going to cut this like this. Cut these little pieces out on the end. Got a little piece of skin there we're going to cut off. Cut all these little thin pieces off. And this is what we'll throw in our ceviche. These pieces. You just want to cut them across the grain, about like that. And you're going to cut them like this. I'd say these are about inch and a half, about the size of your thumb, inch and a half, two inch pieces. And then we're going to put a piece of jalapeno on there, a little season, wrap them up and smoke them. But we're going to do that. We're going to skin out the rest of these fish and I'll see you in the kitchen when we're getting ready. Hi right, guys. We're back inside now. We've got our bacon. Uh, this is just full length bacon I'm cut in half. Jalapenos are chopped up. And we got our stingray. We're going to add a little bit of Tony Satchery's to the stingray just for some salt and some seasoning. And you can use any kind of all purpose seasoning. I just happen to like Tony Satchery's. You can use Slap Your Mama or whatever. Mix that up real good. All we're going to do is take a piece of jalapeno. I cut them pretty small because my wife and kids don't care for jalapeno too much. Put it on there. I'm going to wrap it up with bacon. Just like you do a dove or anything else. And once we get them all done, we'll go ahead and put a little bit more season on the outside. 
that's it. There's not a whole lot to it. See y'all outside. All right, throw a little pepper on these guys. Cause I love black pepper. And they're gonna get ready to go in the pit. And I don't have a fancy barbecue pit. I use an old smoky. I've got a fancy one, but I'm not gonna put it, pick it up with this. Hi guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add them to the pit. We've got a pretty good fire going, pretty hot. Um, and we're just gonna cook these. So we got dark on us, I don't get off until 6 o'clock. And when you get up at 6 o'clock, it tends to get dark, you get home at 7.30. But, you know, these are the pit. Over a pretty hot fire. You cook them till the bacon gets crispy and they'll be ready to roll. Keep them on the edges the whole time? Uh, I start them out on the edge, away from the direct heat, so they get a little smoky flavor to them. <clears throat> and then I'll go back and I'll add them right over the top of the fire, get them nice and crispy. Alright, the lid back on them, let them cook. Check those, let them cook for about probably about 10 to 12 minutes and go ahead and check them. Roll them around a little bit and see, what, see where we go from there. Right. Starting to get a little crispy. Roll them over, make sure they're nice and crispy all the way around. Sides going. What are we doing? Rusted, rusted Brussels sprouts and carrots. And carrots. That'll be interesting. We'll see how that turns out. It's gonna be good. Yeah, should be. Well, it got late and our flashlights didn't jump. Then you might get done cooking. <laughs> Crispy. Right now it should have a nice smoky flavor to it. So these are just about done. To the people out there that eat stingray, what's y'all's favorite way of eating stingray? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to know. I'm always looking to try new interesting things and I enjoy it so let me know what your favorite stinger recipe is and I might give it a shot let me give those just a minute longer those are going to come out we're going to go inside and enjoy them it should be delicious alright poor old smoky yeah my old smoky has seen better days, but he's been with us for a long, long time. Alright, we're going to go inside, get some sides ready to go with these guys. We're going to enjoy them. Y'all try them out, let me know what you think, and we'll see y'all guys next week. I'll see y'all soon. Adios.